the bugs are just killing me this year. Uh, Japanese beetles are really going after the sunflowers. Here's two of them right here. I don't know if you can hear that one fly by, but he almost hit me in the head. There's these two. One over there. Let's see what else we got. One right there. One right there. And that's just the ones. Oh, there's another one up here. They're just all over the place on this sunflower. And I'm going to do something I've done before. And that's uh, just some dish soap and water and put it in my tank sprayer and, and just uh, walk around and spray them. I've also been, been seeing them on my corn and they're just flying around. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, every once in a while one will fly through, but <coughs> I'll see if we can spot some on the corn. But regardless of whether I can or not, I'm going to be spraying them. There's one there. I found that with that tank sprayer, I can just walk around in the garden and sometimes they'll just kind of buzz around in the same spot and you can shoot them right out of the air. So that's what I'm going to do, I guess. Uh, try to save the sunflowers and knock the numbers of these things down a little bit before they get too carried away. Maybe that'll help for the next couple of years if you can knock the population down one year. I think most of these beetles have like a three year life cycle and they're grubs most of that time and then they hatch out into beetles. But if you can, excuse me, if you can knock their numbers down one year, then three years later you'll have fewer of them. So it's worth a shot. If nothing else, I'll make it a bad day for these right here. Okay, I just mi mixed up a little dish soap uh, with water in my tank sprayer. I'm going to go spray them now. Um, there are some plants that are kind of sensitive to dish soap, so if you're worried about damaging your plants or if you're not sure, you can always test it on a few leaves first before you get too carried away. But I'm going to go spray these now. There's the two that were together. I just soak them down real good. We'll see what that does to them. Doesn't look like they're able to fly, so that's a good sign. And my guess is it'll take a little while, take them a little while to die. So I'm going to cut away. I don't want to bore you plumb to death. And it looks like there's another one over there. Right over there, so I'll go spray it now. And I just gave him a shot of it. The other two are up here on this leaf, just sitting there, starting to show signs of distress. Now I'm going to go see if I can There's shoot one, one on my eggplant. Got him. Okay, I see. From where I'm at, I can see three of them on my corn. There's one up there and one. I don't know if I can zoom in on that one not or not. Anyway, there's another one over there. I see. I'm going to shoot these now. And they don't, when you squirt them with that, they just don't fly off. So, looks like it's working.
like I mentioned, once you squirt these things, they don't fly off. It pretty much incapacitates them. And I'm not going to wait around for them to recover or not. So it makes it real easy to pick them off. I'm going to just drop them into a little bucket of water. I have uh, just been walking around here and just... Uh, watching them when it looks like they're hovering around a plant getting ready to land with a more direct stream you can shoot them right out of the air just like that one there he's just buzzing around i could shoot him if i wasn't didn't have both hands busy he's after the tomatoes looks like i just knocked one over here down on the ground if i can find him I'm, he must have crawled off or something but oh there he is I knocked him out of the air when he was buzzing around this tomato plant and he's just laying there so I'm going to get a little container with uh, some soap and water and drop him in it in about care. 10 minutes. That's what I accomplished and I'm not sure how much good it did but it did knock their numbers down some and I'll tell you what it did make me feel better. <laughs> so it was worth doing for that reason alone I think and just looking around now I don't see nearly as many buzzing around there's a few but this is something you can do to get a few of them I even got one grasshopper there it kept him from flying but he could still hop but just wanted to share this it's one little tool in your bag of tricks I see a one buzzing over on the corn now and I'm gonna go knock him down and since I've knocked their numbers down I'm gonna go ahead and go back in for a while there he is I'm gonna go back in for a while and come back out here and hit him again <laughs> 